Everybody, welcome back after a while. After I know we've been gone a little bit. Minute. We've been uh, very busy, so it was hard to align anything. But we're on episode forty now. Episode we got a, forty. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> um. We got a special <laughs> guest uh, from the Bay Area who actually committed to a drive out here to come that's just for crazy, this, which is dedication, bro. son. I mean, that's it crazy. That much. It's that three hours and thirty minutes, but that's when you're going crazy. like eighty miles. But per still, hour, bro, just to pull up to a podcast, I respect it. I respect that. I respect. Man. It. I, I mean, I just that. I was telling Chava before this, like the whole community you guys have, like behind this, it's like I just like I, I gotta know, be in kind of thing. Hell. Like yeah, yeah. No. Like Bryce and everybody, like everybody that you guys have on here, it's just like. It's so genuine, you understand? Yeah, for like, sure. And I was telling like, it's dope to be a part of something that's like bigger than you. Mm -hmm. And, and like, he, um, he brought gifts too. You oh yeah, he brought his candles. Look at this, straight out of Mexico. Those are the little, it's like mangoes, right? Mango flavor. And then some tres leches candy with like chile on the outside. Those are like borrachos type things. Yes, yeah. sir. Oh, those have alcohol in it. I don't know if those do, but they're like around the like same. These are straight Chavo's from Jalisco, dude. Mm. Chavo's about to take like five of them real quick. <laughs> I'm like, say less. <laughs> like, Chavo's really, always trying to drink them, like, bro. Really one, bro. Nah, he's, but he's always trying thank to get you for drunk. coming, bro. We appreciate, yeah, we appreciate you. you. Of course, bro. We'll get into if, everything you do and stuff. Well, um, if you want, just give us like a brief introduction, what you do, your name, and how long you've and been doing handle it, and all that good stuff. Okay, so they call me um, John Espinoza. They call me Johnny. And then Instagram. I might as well just plug it in right now. Yeah, plug it it's in. It's uh, SVGE visuals, but then the SVGE just stands for Savage, basically. Like yeah, I was going to say, is it Savage? So yeah. I've been so I'm a photographer, videographer a little bit. Also, like I do a lot of music things like with artists and stuff, okay. like creating content for them. Yeah. So it's like I'm just like in everything. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So like anything with the lens, I don't want to say like, I feel like Chavez kind of like on um, along my lines because like he does video more. Mm -hmm. and all that. So around that, it's basically like I've been doing this for like on a consistent, like I want to say like two years. Okay. Two years. But like nice. just barely like this past year, ever since I switched to my A7R3. Ain't no whoa, way. Whoa, the, whoa. Oh, look who it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what's good? <laughs> it's it's, it's <laughs> Juanito. Juanito in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Pop your real quick. Hey, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have him on the side. We have right a here. guest, yeah, an extra have, guest. Yeah, an audience. <laughs> an audience. There you, you go. That's the word I was like. He's gonna give us the little claps and like, yeah, the little, right. <laughs> little, like the background noises. The little laughing. <laughs> He's like, woo. <laughs> <in> the back. <laughs> the He's like the. Tracks. Wet up, wet up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wet up. Imagine. No, yeah, because I, I, yeah, like you said, I, I can relate to you in that way because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll do everything. You know, I it's, mean, not as much anymore because now I'm like busier and. I can focus more on kind of yeah. what I like to do, but it's because a lot of people they always tell me be like, because when you start off with like photos and everything, and I know you guys know this like specifically, they tell you to niche down. They're like, you should like find a niche and stick mm. to it. And I, I understand it to the point because like a client, like they're going to come with you because like you do that. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. But then it's like when you have like enough love for this whole like hobby or like profession, like as like photos and video you kind of never want to niche down. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's kind of like you just want to do like anything as long as you have that. Does yeah. That make sense? And that's kind of travel like over here with the podcast and like oh, yeah. with the weddings and like everything like that. And everything's fun in its own way, you know? Like sometimes you can get tired of fucking portraits or whatever and you go and do a car video. He's like, so, you he, know, he's like, Nanders, do these for me, bro. Do these. Just, I know, He's right? like, say less. <laughs> Nando does. I just you know. mostly do photos, so. Right. I'm not cool like you guys. You've been doing some videos. Just kidding. I've been doing more video stuff. I just haven't really posted much. How, how, uh, how has it been? Stressful, dog. It is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you guys been doing video get the like sauce that. Sauce from Chava, bro. Because you have to like make sure that first of all that you're recording. Yeah. You know, you gotta be on your camera. Like you gotta be make sure that it is crazier, bro. He be doing the whole audio and everything. Like mm -hmm. I'm not too familiar with that. Yeah, yes. he'll be like miking people up. I and, remember like, he was on live and he was like, "Bro, I think I forgot to record this." I was like, "No." Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, dude, oh my god, yes, that happens a lot, you know. That's, you there's so many it. things to video, you have to be on Ch top of Chava, so. he was like, Bro, you're crazy. And that? I've been I've been taking just like um one camera for like video and one for photo. Like I haven't even done what he's done where he has like three that's video at the same time. I'm like, that is so much, bro. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Well, have you liked it so far? Or it's fun. It? It's fun. Like a lot like um like for me, I've only really been doing video at like weddings and I think 
I want to start offering it to people in the way that I've been doing it. Because, like, I think there's some things that just don't make sense to take photos of. And like, it just makes more sense mm-hmm. to do video okay. for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, when the couple is, like, dancing, I would rather film that. Because mm-hmm. then you the, see it. The first you know, dance. like, the visual, you hear the music. Or when they're dancing with their parents. Um, even, like, a cake cutting, like, there's motion to it. Mm-hmm. So you kind of, like, almost want to, like, or take like, more video of that. In a way, it's, like... Let's say like the money dance and stuff. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to take pictures of that. No. like that's hella photos, first of all. Mm-hmm. And then it's like it's just the same picture yeah, over yeah, and over. Yeah, same photo over and over and You're over. Just bursting it, else, like. Know? And the way I see photos. it is like you know a lot of the times when I take pictures of certain things, I'm like, are they even gonna use these? You know, is right. it just gonna be there for them? And it's like, cool, look, we have them. But it's like, the the couples always use the photos of them too, or mm-hmm. like their bridal party and their main family and like that's really it and then the value of video i feel like goes up as the years go by you know like yeah if you have the whole video from the money dance or whatever you know at first you might be like oh freaking money dance like but then you see all the guests that went and then in 20 years you look back and then you see all the people that maybe they're not here anymore or something you know you you can watch them you ever seen videos from like your parents from back in the day like from the I mean, 90s not too or much 80s of videos but it was like more like photos because i'm mm-hmm. not even even serious. photos I'm, I'm right 21 i'm mm-hmm. 21 so oh, you're like, still young yeah i'm still kind of young we're so old bro. We're even old, photos because like heads. us was, we're, old, we're so old, old as fuck. so like hey, I, a lot of the photos i, I look now. back fuck you and you Chava's <laughs> 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 not old he's just he's just an og that's what it, that's what it is bro he's just, just not nah, but like with us i don't know about you but like you don't have that many photos of yourself when you were little huh I do actually. You do? Well, just not, not here. They're Maybe mostly in Mexico or something. So because... the in Mexico, they all Maybe burn. I was poor because, like, when I find a photo of myself, it's like, whoa, like this nah. is crazy. I've never seen this yeah. before. I gotta save it, you know. I, there's not that's probably what like mostly inspired me to like start shooting with that because like I feel like that's like memorable. Like I'd be having like I think we have like six or seven photo albums at home, mm-hmm. and it's all like old photos, and it's just like it's yeah. just, I don't know. I feel like. You guys probably feel the type of way about that too, like being able to give back that to someone, and like having them to have it like as a memory. And I have a bunch of photos of my nieces and stuff when they were little. I have a lot of pictures. Oh, man, these of, girls are lucky. Dude. I have like pictures <laughs> of, of, of me and my family when I was <laughs> younger, but from like my dad's oh, side. Yeah. Like my dad's side of my family was definitely like the take Show. pictures of everything. Yeah. I had an aunt who was like a photographer, so she was just clicking away, mm-hmm. bro. You know what I mean? Oh, like in nice. Ve- she lives in Vegas, and she has like albums like i'm talking like a closet full of albums of just like, pictures from like everyone in our family you know like, like if you ever need to find That's pictures nice. she's like the go-to you know like, oh she probably has it she probably yeah has it. well like you know when the last time i saw her i was like do you have any pictures of like me my mom and my dad like when i was younger she has she's a whole like, catalog no, she has a whole no like legit she took me to her closet and she was like look whole all librarian. these all these are from you know like pictures that your dad is in or that your mom might be in and that you're in and i'm like okay so then i'm like going through three freaking thick binders like that and i'm just like picking out pictures and i brought them with me over here just to like copy them and then mail them back Mm -hmm. to her because i had never seen these photos bro like i saw pictures of my dad that i had never seen in my life and i was like what or like my mom me with my grandparents why do you look like this yeah huh and then like i saw myself when i was like six months two years a year and i'm like what the hell bro like i've never seen this but from my mom's side less photos for sure Mm -hmm. like when i was growing up down there we definitely had photo albums but like chava said i just think my mom's side of the family wasn't I think wealthy enough to be buying cameras mm-hmm. and film all the time. Yeah. But my other aunt, since she did photos, like she just went all out. I know. I mean, yeah. I know. I destroyed. I destroyed a lot of photos because I remember. You know how they had the little films. Mm-hmm. I remember like pulling them apart and stuff. Oh, bro! Oh, you could like open no. it and then look through it, right? Yeah. And then that would fuck it up. And yeah, then you I, can't do that. <laughs> sometimes you, you can't it. expose it to light. <laughs> yeah, but I would do, do that you, too. It's like, how do you like in the video though? Like the whole. I think. I've been enjoying it because it's just different. And I'm still like on the simple like terms of it. Like, yeah, so. I'm not like anywhere like. Chava, have been shooting in a S Log three right now. <laughs> right now, well, I do a lot more of that, but you know, like I haven't, I'm have not anywhere near like what he does. Like I've just been making, like I've been practicing or like experimenting more with like frame rates and like the slow motion, non slow motion, and then. I've just been kind of making short clips for like couples, but it's definitely not like a full on highlight film like he makes, you know. I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just like a way different like Well, I've been getting curve. like like when I've been with him it helps too because you know, when we do weddings together, I see what he films 
for the highlight video like short little clips like, like two man. seconds and i'm like okay look i can do that so i've been doing that like I'll, I'll get certain things that way i just have recording to add on there um and i'm looking at i did one not that long ago where i actually do want to make like a full-on two minute like you know do mm-hmm. everything kind of thing but then i'm like Pull i should have mic'd i should have mic'd these people like he does you know like mm-hmm. i don't yeah. have all that yet mm-hmm. so it's like so they because you said, you said it yet Cause I'll, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Cause a lot of the times like when, the when these, these couples ask me, you know, and he gets asked this all the time, like you'll have someone say, Hey, can you do photo and video? I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to do it at the same time because it's, that's so hard. Dude. Have over here. I've taken over here. some of them and it's not ideal. So my question is to them is like, what exactly do you want filmed and what exactly do you want photographed? And then they'll tell me like, Oh, obviously I want the ceremony film cool bro i can set my camera down and just record you know yeah and then they're like well i want us dancing i want our first dance the parents the money dance i'm like that i can do all that you know like i can film enough to do that and then i asked them like do you want like a full line like fancy cinematic three minute cut video Mm -hmm. or do you just kind of want me to make you a long video they're like we just want the all the footage like just to look back on i'm like okay (laughs) because i feel like more traditional wise like Latinos, they just like yeah, like a they're full like yeah. everything. They yeah. like everything, like exactly. And they don't, they don't care all that much. They don't care all that much about like the quality no. or I mean they do, I'm sure, but like they, they care more yeah. about like the memories. They don't care about it being like a f- three minute cutout film. They just want like an hour long, like show me everything you recorded. I'm like that's hella easy. Like I don't have to cut anything. I just have to check the audio and cut out certain things and then put it together, add a little transitions, and then boom, we're straight. The and they're so day? happy with that. Add so a little like, slideshow and everything at the yeah. end. Bro, the <laughs> the title day, slideshow. <laughs> the padrinos at the end. <laughs> Bro, the other day I mic'd, uh, I mic'd someone up and I never go through the audio because I have like mm. a one hour, two hours of audio, right? But I just go to the part I need. <coughs> and the other day I was going through it and then I clicked on like... I was trying to find what I wanted to use, mm-hmm. and I clicked on it, and they were talking some shit, dude. What the? <laughs> they were talking some shit, bro. About you? Not about me, but about... Oh, like just people? About people, and... You're like... I would go as like, far as that? saying that some, like... Just say no spill the names. shit, oh. probably. Oof. Probably, yeah. You caught him for but a I always, sure. I always, you know, I always be like, I'm like, I'm gonna make you up. Right, no snitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> snitch on you, bro. I mean, it is funny yeah, though because he will mic them pretty early on, so you think about it. Like, what if these people are just they forget? You know, like I would forget I have a mic. And then at some point, at some point, the um, like Especially they like kind of realize, yeah. right? Yeah. And then the, um, I, I I heard the groom said like, oh, he said he's good. He said he he won't he won't say anything. <laughs> 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 I'm like, you got it, bro. <laughs> he's like, you already know, bro. You already yeah. Know. <laughs> they start talking shit about Chava. Bro, yeah. I hate this videography. He's so whack. <laughs> Imagine, bro and a lot of times i don't listen to it so maybe there's maybe there is a little there's sneak this talk there, you know? and i just don't listen to it <laughs> they on purpose are like hey bro i don't like you <laughs> all you see is nanders come up to them hey bro <laughs> hey, <laughs> Could have done this too. Or hey, nanders, um, so nanders comes up to them and starts talking shit about me imagine. oh i know oh dude. let me tell this story for those of you <laughs> who you. don't know so the other day i was minding my own fucking business right i was working oh, at a we where was for. i at a wedding right <clears throat> and you know i'm working i'm chilling i'm doing my thing and then somebody comes up to me and then he's like hey nando i'm like whoa whoa, whoa, whoa." i'm like what bro what bro and he's like yeah you're nanders right they want to know the or whatever the fuck he said i was like nah man i'm not fucking nanders (laughs) this fool man i'm trying to shine you know i'm trying to shine on my own and this was taking away all that dude he's trying to take the spotlight that's wild dude did you see Cause we got he's famous bro look at him not the point of the way not the way hey man i i <laughs> feel like this guy was trolling you because i don't i, I honestly don't think he was I like he's he genuinely just, just thought i think it was he him. actually thought he it was at the clip right here since you had it have it already oh yeah oh yeah i have it i'll put it on there <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> he's gonna okay. add it in the episode i think i mean i don't know bro because there was there's been and I can try to pull up the messages. There was someone like a few weeks ago <laughs> who literally said, hey, Chava, Imagine to me in a lie. message. And I'm like, Chava's like, you've been, how on, do you you've been on Photoshop for a minute. It right? says my name on the top. Like, where do you get Chava from my username? I'm going to try to find this, bro. There's no way. So I, I can show him. But literally lie, the first the first sentence this, this girl said was, hey, Chava. Um, and then, you know, she like talked to me about booking something. 
And I'm like, isn't oh, that funny though? We this don't look alike like, at all. Like this isn't Chav, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, like, I think totally I got it mixed up. Too, that's yeah, the and then yeah, we don't like, look two, anything alike. Two different personalities, and it's like. The yeah, name, the name yeah, is totally, totally different. different. I think it's probably just because of the letters. I Bro, are you sick too? Are you sick? Motherfucker, you better not be Hello. sick. Corona. Where is... I, I, keep keep corona, the conversation man. going, but I'm trying to find this. I um, really want to find it so I can tell him I'm not like... Yeah, I think you're lying, but whatever. Him, bro. <laughs> and you right, never bro. done weddings or anything like that, right? Like, nah, not recently too much. You don't consider as though I know that. Like a little, I have one upcoming this end of this month, I think, beginning of next month. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And then I just got asked, like, it's weird. Like my clientele is like everywhere. Like mm-hmm. today, I had a message from a guy. He was like, "Hey, can you come out to Florida, like film something?" Whoa. And I was like, "You know, I'm from the California, right?" He's like, "Yeah." And I was like, he was like, yeah, she's like, people over here in Florida don't know how to film. I was like, what? I was what like, okay. the fuck? So I'm talking to him right now and seeing like, I told him, I was like, dude, like, I'm going to like the fly, like, to You're stay. like, hey, if you pay me. I told him, I was like, it's going to be, it's probably going to be more than a, a, a K, like, honestly. And he oh, was yeah. like, he's like, yeah, he's like, okay. He's like, he just wanted to know more things and probably going to talk to him. The sugar daddy, bro. What's up? <laughs> What's <laughs> like What's a kidnap- sugar daddy, bro. I got kidnapped. <laughs> It's the last, last, po- last podcast get, you see get me that, in. Get that, sh- get that sugar, bro. <laughs> I'm just like... Chava's like, show the love too. He's like, <laughs> drop his hat right now. No, that's pretty wild, man. So what's your main... Um, I want to say it's tragedy, tri- tri- but like... How do you get clients over there where you live? Like, I think it's mostly like... It's it, honestly like... Read that, read that first. What does that say? <laughs> no, what does that say? It's just, it's just Nana. Oh, he's, right. he thought he was captain. Hey, I think I, wait, who's that? Can you show me the photo again? Can you go through her profile? She probably, imagine she follows both of you guys. I think she messaged me too. Well, I'm sure. This like, was August was... 29th. August 29th. Okay, well, there you, go. you were in line. There you go. So, you were in line. So you, yours is worse, bro, because why did I get mistaken online where my name is there? You got mistaken <laughs> in person? Like that? That's a little more understandable. It could be in person. But online, like my name's nah, there, bro. Some people, man. <laughs> some people. I think I've just been hanging out with him too much. So they're like, the who's who? Duo. Yeah, who? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, We're just, yeah. let's just change our ads. So like my profile is just Chandler on it. Let's do no, no, no. Like go change your, your. <laughs> you know those like, you know those couple like, like Instagrams? Yeah. <laughs> let's do yeah, like that. Bro. Like we're just going to conjoin it and just put it together. Oh, yeah. Chanders? 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 <laughs> Chanders. <laughs> No, I, I don't know how Man, to know. Nanders be like Wait why does your name go first why does Yeah 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 I mean What, what other way could it be Nan, I don't know No That's it Chanders Nan, Nan, Nancha and then we're gonna Nancha That sounds a little Nancha Oh yeah the fusion mm. <laughs> the little, please, in, please insert a clip of that on there Of Trunks and Goten Just Hell yeah What you like <laughs> <laughs> dude i was laughing that's so like hard when hilarious. i tweeted that when we did that wedding i'm like yo we're that's back hilarious. at it for a wedding and it's goten and trunks just <laughs> <laughs> we need a next wedding we do we need to have someone record us doing that Hell like yeah. do the little dance or just it'd be nice to also bring someone for behind the scenes of us working you know trying to pull up juanito trying to pull up or what he's like i ain't got nothing else to do trying to pull up or what I don't know, whenever. I don't have that many weddings left, I don't think. I'm like, you have an extra room here? Uh, <laughs> right here, bro. Pull up, bro. Right here, this is a new room. Like in Marangas. You just put on the little AAC or the air and you'll be all see right. Me, see, yeah. uh, start seeing me for my own podcast here right now. <laughs> oh, no. He comes back and he just starts filming in here. Like, okay. starts his own don't thing. Don't worry, Chava. Just, just, yeah. I brought more candy. Like, I'm, I brought just, more... I'm just using your space. My fault. Yeah, yeah, no, but know. I think how you're saying, you're asking me about, like, clientele and everything like how like my strategy behind that it's mostly like it's random like if i'm being not or like not fully random but it's like it's more like the people you know does it make sense that's why i've learned like this past year it's like the people you know like they recommend you over here like oh you did this for them you did that for that mm-hmm. and then since like recently i've been working like a lot more like with like like music videos and all that so it's more like the people like you really know like to get into that type of thing mm-hmm. and then they're like oh you worked with this does it make sense like, you, you ever with reach person. out to people I I have but like they've they've protected me long and stuff and like that's opened up like hello doors too mm-hmm. like oh you worked with this it doesn't make sense like yeah. you worked with this person that's just like it's basically just how it goes. Do you have like um, photographer friends or anything like that? I do have like there is like a community there, but it's not like it's not like this. It's not it's like it's not this. like mm-hmm. as tight knit. It's not as tight. Like we're cool and everything. Like the people are cool. We just but it's not like 
oh yo nanders let's go shoot let's go oh. shoot does it make sense it's mm-hmm. like people some of the, like they, they're crazy talented too but it's just like it's just not as it's not i've always low-key heard that about. it's like maybe i haven't found it maybe that's that's what mm-hmm. it is i've but. heard out there in the bay area it's kind of like that though like just in general because i've i don't know like maybe it just you you haven't been around the right people but i had a friend who um was like into photography and he went down and he's like it's kind of hard to like get a tight-knit community out there because like people just kind of do their own thing yeah it's really it kind of makes sense you know like bigger cities in a way i didn't really think of it that way because we're lucky to be here you know like we have a small community and i think it's easier to be that way in a a smaller spot but like like take a look at like let's say like in la where Mm -hmm. there's like so many creatives you know i'm like do you really think they're all that cool like i'm sure they're they got like their their little circle but it's not like a super tight knit community of like oh all these people hang out and do things together all the time. I feel like most people because you know same thing. Bay Area is kind of like a big city. They're like that's like a stepping stone like L A. Mm-hmm. It's like what everybody like. Well, that's Stress what everybody's for. goal is from there like to go down there mm-hmm. to like create things out there. But for me, it's just like I don't know. Just as long as uh, I'm doing like creating, I just don't mind where it's at. Like it could be here, it could be in Mexico, it could be in europe it could be wherever anywhere yeah but that's funny mexico for <coughs> just to see family just family. yeah just part are you from again Guadalajara. nice when was the last time you went down there uh two weeks ago two oh weeks ago. <laughs> oh, like, oh well yeah that's yeah, where you brought like, the candy huh candy, damn oh yeah candy's so uh fresh off the plane damn, um for real i tested negative for covid so you don't have to worry about it okay cool <laughs> hey at least he told us bro about you know the, what, precautions oh no nah, they they don't let you back in if you don't have a test oh like you just gotta mm-hmm. you gotta okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he grabbed your candy first. I mean, Man, no one was opening them, bro. Too, or okay? you huh? Yeah. For traveling? Do you need yeah. Damn. Are you guys back? I can't travel, no? dude. I'm back. Travel's not back? I'm not back. Why not? Si te ponen I'm back. Si not back. Si te ponen las vacunas oh, dude, those are hella good. I haven't even tried it, honestly. I haven't even tried it. The lady was like, though. la señora, she's like, mira. Mm-mm. They're like sweet. You should open those too, bro. I thought they were going to be more spicy. Oh, hell yeah. Those mango things smack. <laughs> those are hella good. <laughs> you want one? Yeah. I didn't try it. Just the lady was like, you should buy these. And I was like, okay. I was like, okay. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll listen to you. They I have some like that at the mall. These mango things? They're hella spicy. Oh, the mall ones? Mm-hmm. Well, these are good. They're like sweet. Anyway, if you're watching the video have a little bit of a different setup um i'm busy and i don't want to spend hours and hours editing video <laughs> so this is gonna be the setup for a while just the one camera just i one mean camera. i think that's enough like do you really Honestly, need all that yeah you're right Chavo was just trying to be extra before like he's trying to be, to be cinematic yeah. what do you feel like is um the hardest thing with the podcast like Best you ending. know editing is it just a multiple cameras Wait, or one? <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like it's just the multiple cameras or is it the audio like the hardest part well these are good too uh, Dude, the hardest part is getting Nanders here <laughs> the hardest part is hey i'm here bro. i'm sorry Nanders. wait you. about the podcast yeah like like the you oh, know how you this? said like long like you said it was kind of oh long. no the only thing you have to watch it like all like you watch so like, you have to watch like when, when Juanito came in, you have to cut the audio. You have to be like, <laughs> yeah, you have to watch it. You have to like cut from one camera to the other. So you know, because when he had multiple cameras, it would be like if you're talking, it would. Cut oh to yeah, you. I had it, yeah, I did record one like that, it and it was like that. You really had to go through the whole hour, yeah, and like mm-hmm. and edit I mean, and it adds cuts. a lot. Of, it added a lot of depth to the to the podcast. But it then, does. It makes it very professional looking. Yeah. I think, but. You I know, was gonna ask you: Do you fine. feel like people listen to the podcast? Oh, more? I made a poll on the page yeah. not too long ago, and a lot of people watched the episodes. Mm, which I've, is I've been told a lot that they watch it too. But even uh, I, I feel like this is fine. I've be, I've yeah. watched podcasts like, um, <laughs> do you guys know um, Tiny Meat Gang podcast? Oh yeah, Cody, Cody and, and Noel. They don't really do like the two camera thing that much. Oh yeah. A lot I mean, of times like, it's just one filming them too, and I think that's nice because then you see both of their reactions at the same mm-hmm. time too, and then like it's just nice and simple, yeah. you know. And sometimes they'll like panel to each other, but and it's you can like, still make cuts. Like I can still cut myself like a little closer for the little like IG reels and like yeah, yeah, a little yeah. slowly like exactly. oh, uh-huh. six by nine, just real quick. Yeah, 
16 by 9, my bad. I love that podcast, too. Those guys are so Dude, funny. They're, they're hilarious. <laughs> I like Cody more, though. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, no. Was, yeah, I think Cody's funny, too, but like. I think together they're hilarious. Oh, like, yeah. Like their chemistry together is so freaking funny. Like, there would be the two guys where I want to just hang out with them, too. Oh, yeah. And just like have them be stupid all the time. I just can't. Just so dumb. I can't watch Noel by himself. Me neither. But I can't really. watch Cody by himself, yeah, you know? He I probably agree. doesn't even know what we're talking about. No, I don't. I'm lost. <laughs> Do you I'm know like Cody Cole on YouTube? Cody Cole. You don't watch YouTube? I do watch YouTube. Do you He's, have any um, <coughs> YouTubers that you like? Um, not recently. Like, no? I mean, just I think nah, not recently. Just I like, kind of like stayed away from it because it's like I don't. I just feel like I don't have time with it anymore. Like, mm-hmm. just to be watching YouTube. I mean, people can people do be spending a lot of time on YouTube. Like, it's easy to go down the rabbit hole. Of, like, like usually spent, when I go on YouTube, it's like for tutorials. Like, oh, yeah. how to do this, how to do that. Dude, I remember the speed ramp this. <laughs> I was I was never very social, and I would come home, lay on my bed, and watch tutorials. It's like, like the, for the rest of the days. If Chava started a YouTube uh, <laughs> vlogs again, <laughs> vlogs again, eh. I'd watch that. I'd watch that. We all watch, watch it. The, I'd watch the vlogs. The vlogs were fun, but it's I'll also a the, lot, you know. I, think, I mean, you got a lot on your plate right now. Yeah, so. I think once, eh. like, do a little like do a little like highlight week. You know how they do like. Day by not day by you understand? Yeah, they yeah, mash it up weekly. They're like, oh yeah, uh, it's like Thursday. Yeah, like Thursday. There's this. Um, I'm going to the <clears throat> seventh shoot today. I'm going to this, <laughs> I don't really. Um, I don't really watch. My hands are. Functioning. <laughs> I don't watch this girl that much, but what she does is she releases one vlog a month, mm. and it's literally like. I mean, I used to watch a, a lot. Of, I used to watch a lot of Casey Neistat. But Casey Neistat's yeah. cool. Casey. Yeah. Oh, Casey's dope. Like this it was the one that kind of inspired me at first. Like Casey's this one. Cool. This one girl. She'll. She releases, like, it's like a 30-minute blog. It's like 30 minutes, and it's just one time a month. And it's literally, like, her whole month summed up into, like, 30 minutes. I feel minutes. like it's dope because, like, it speeds everything. Yeah. You know, like, like, you don't have to, like, you know. Like, oh, man, that happened that quick. <laughs> like, remember when YouTubers were doing, like, the daily vlogging, mm-hmm. which is insane. Like, every single day you release a new video, like, that's I feel crazy. Like you'd have, yeah, you'd have to, like, do it, like, on a weekly, you know, like. Mm-hmm. I mean, those dudes probably had an editor and everything, yeah. like, on deck where they would be like, yo, I'm film here, edit it. And that way, the next day they drop. I mean, mostly like the Paul, the Paul brother yeah. boys were Logan like the ones doing Jake. that. Yeah, Logan and Jake were vlogging like every, clan and all PewDiePie that. was doing one every single day, like stuff like that. But like I think once a week or even like every two weeks. I feel like that's know? tiring to be like an editor because like yeah, right, bro. I feel yeah, like, bro. You have to be uh, it's in front of your computer all day. It probably. sucks. It sucks just being right there. And just I like, mean, that's why these dudes get paid a lot though. Like if you're editing for a big time YouTuber, like I'm sure that's a nice salary that you're getting. For especially I'm if they're sure. like daily vloggers or like daily YouTube uploads, like PewDiePie's editor, oh, yeah. I'm sure he makes bank because oh, yeah. that dude uploads a video every PewDiePie's single like, day. Nah, I edit my own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I edit my own shit. Oh hell no! There's no way no, that man has no, time no, to do no that. <laughs> um, but I remember too when Logan Paul was doing the vlogs and stuff, daily vlogs. When the suicide thing happened, you remember? Mm-hmm. I watched dude, a lot of that's the, the impulsive. Yeah. The oh yeah, yeah. his I podcast is great, yeah. dude. I was, but I was hooked onto the vlogs before that shit happened. I don't know what it was about them, but. But then the suicide thing happened. I kind of like, fell off a little. You're bit. like that little TikTok and eh, TikTok sound. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I never like kept up with the pop brothers like that. Like I knew who they were, obviously, even back from like Vine. But then I remember, you know, the Suicide Forest thing. Just yeah, like everyone was true. like, bro, what the that, hell? Should, that was like on news articles and shit. Dude, yeah, like, like everyone thought this man's career was just like. I mean, he humbled down. He came back. He did. He's he's a lot. He's way more mature than fucking Jake. I hate. Yeah, I hate Jake. Jake is like the little brother that just hasn't grown up yet. What's it called? Chava versus Jake Paul. Uh, (laughs) Reno. (laughs) Boxing man. Boxing man. I don't think so. You got height on him. Nah, dude. I can't (laughs) fight for shit. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, I don't got no chance. I get recorded, but I just can't fight. (laughs) Yeah. I gotta be mad. That's the thing. We gotta. Have Jake do something to him. To Gotta take his modelos away real quick. So. Mm-hmm. Um, There's little piña ones or whatever. <laughs> Dude, do you know who I'm going to fight? Me? The Prius doesn't somebody. <laughs> you got to talk about that. Oh, you gotta yeah. talk about the story. Please tell us about this, bro. Man, this dude. Um, I guess that's just the way he is. But he's very regañón. Mm-hmm. And he likes to boss people around. And I don't mm-hmm. like that at all, you know? I first the, um my thing well let me tell you what happened first ahead. I'm gonna show the video too so I was working at the at this wedding and then everything starts everything's cool but when they first come in you have different cameras set up around the church right mm-hmm. 
And then they come in, they sit down, Big sigh. and then you might have to go and readjust, you know, so that way you're actually, you know, focusing on them, right? And so, you know, at first I'm on this side, then I want to go to the other side to check on the other camera because they're also they also stop recording after a while, so you have minutes. to make sure you're yeah. recording, right? So I'm walking across the like the back of the church, and then I see, uh, you know, I pull up to the aisle to get a shot. So I take that, and then I'm going back to the other side. And then the priest is like, hey, muchacho, yeah. No, señor. He called me señor, dude. Señor. First of all. Yeah, like, a muchacho. How are you going to call me a señor, dude? <laughs> You're a señor. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, can you stop moving? Like, just find a spot where you can stay. You're like, do you know who and I then am? He said you know this, and he said this. Find a spot where you can stay at, and you can get all your ang angles from. I'm like, bro. Do you not realize what you just said? That doesn't make any sense, dude, you know? That's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, this is wedding 42. Well, this is wedding 42. Yeah, but like, I just didn't like the way he called me out in front of everybody. Oh, everybody uh, was and there? Like, everybody, yeah. Everybody, so sentados y yeah. everybody was quiet. Like, why would you do that, you know? And the thing is, like, if you want rules, then let me know what the rules are, and then I'll follow them, you know? Mm -hmm. Like but, ahead of time. Yeah, but if you're not going to tell me anything and then call me out in the middle of it, yeah, well, screw that's you, just man. a dick move to do Did it. Did anybody say anything like the, the people? Nah, like, everybody was quiet, but you could feel the room being like, like oh, tension. Yeah, tension. You see you know? it in the video, like you see people kind of like, okay, yeah. like okay, like what yeah, was I that need, for? I need to see this. I need this. Yeah, it's you, just, have, you have not watched the video. I don't, I don't think so. Really? It's just, I was like, you ain't number one fan. You ain't yeah, number yeah, one. yeah, you're fake. Bro. It, Step it, out. No, you gotta see this, man. He did a funny. He <laughs> everywhere. I was probably, yeah, in, I I was probably in, bro, I was probably in Mexico with no signal. All his, probably... all his socials. And, you know, he's done stuff, other stuff in the past. Some other photographers also said that oh, yeah. he was a little bit um, me. weird. Me. It's, happen it's happened with me. Dame su nombre y ahí vamos a llegar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that Acabo happened, me voy este día. <laughs> Oh, you're like, I'm, hey. I'm, I'm and also, like, why are you gonna be disrespectful like that to me? You know. So just play, play that. No, I like, seen it. and then click down there. Yeah. <laughs> Ping. <laughs> me. <laughs> I think I have, but I just didn't watch it. So we... Oh yeah, I remember you posting that. And then I love their faces at the end. I love Chicho and Betsy's faces. They're like, Oh, yeah, I just didn't understand what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I give him a little. Oh, I saw it in the background. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> I'm glad I caught it. I'm glad I caught it. <laughs> the thumbs up. Yeah, when I was going. Was like a day ago? Like, yeah, like two yesterday. days ago. Yeah, yeah, that was on Sunday. But yeah, that happened. Are I, you uh, me? I, uh, would you post that? Instagram. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I. I had an experience like that with him like two or three years ago. It was like the first wedding I, or it was a quinceañera I did for the first time at that church. And I, this is the part that got me mad though, because I saw him before everything started and I'm like, Hey, um, do you have anything for me? Like, do you want me to only stand here? Do you want me to only shoot from here? Like, and Rosie's like, no, just mm -hmm. as long as you don't come up to like the the, the, like, the space, the right? Platform, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, okay, that's fair enough. Like, yeah, why, yeah. I don't want do to go up there. Of this right yeah, now. I'm just <laughs> let me just let me just skip up there, bro. Like, obviously, I knew that, and I'm like, okay, cool. And he's like, yeah, everything else, like, it's fine if you want to, you know, move around or mm -hmm. get a shot. I'm like, cool, sweet. So, how well, I gotta give him like, in a way, it kind of made sense mm -hmm. because he was giving them a speech. Mm -hmm. And I guess he maybe you know he, so he maybe get, got distracted or something you know. It's and after he finished, in the after he finished, it was like, okay, if you want to move, you can move now, right? Mm -hmm. I just di don't didn't like the fact that he didn't you, tell me yeah, about it beforehand, and, and then he had, he had to, to call it. me out like that because it's just, it's like embarrassing. Kid, basically. Yeah, like yeah. it's embarrassing for you because now everybody's like, oh, you know, he what, know what, mean? what he's doing. Oh, yeah, I like they, it makes you kind of look <clears> bad because then the 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 people in the crowd take it as like, oh, look at this guy, like he's distracting the priest it's or like something. that time that time chap was like i am nandus I am <laughs> <laughs> and am i though i'm going all the way back like that way I don't yeah cross him you're not very you're not walking like in front of him yeah like no. you're in the background but and then he also told me i was taking pictures and he's like can you <clears throat> shut off the the sound the shutter? Oh, how how <laughs> so that's the kind of you know that's the kind of thing we're talking i've about had people here. tell me that before like can you like i'm like 
can't. I can Bro, make mine. Camera. I I can make mine more silent, but I can't fully get rid of it. No, like mine has like we, shutter can volumes. We, can we? I don't think on Sony's. On Sony's not. you can. You can turn it on. Yeah, you can. Turn like fully. Really? It's not <clears throat> ideal, especially indoors. No. Yeah, because when you got artificial lighting, you can get weird effects in your photos and stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah. And mean, well, you want something new today. You want to make sure like you took the photo too. Like, what if you're? Yeah. Like if it's easy to think you're clicking the shutter, but you're and not. And then you know, do you know about rolling shutter? Yes. Yeah, kind of. When you take video. Yeah. When you're swinging the camera like that. And it, it just like gives it like a ghost effect. Warps like that. Yeah, right? it kind of gives it like a ghost like effect. Yeah. That happens when you're doing that. Oh, when you so turn if you it don't off. have it steady, you know their faces might go like that because you move the camera or something. Does that make sense? No, for hello uh, After Effects yeah, special for effects. Us. For so me, it was know. like we we sat down so the quinceañera starts. And then I'm doing kind of like what he did, you know, like I'm I'm moving to a certain spot to get a shot that I want. Same thing, bro. He he did the same thing to me. He's like, but he did it. I think more rude to me, like to you. What did he say? He was, you know, he was, he was rude. Public. But to me, yeah. he was like, he was like, hey, muchacho, and he like pointed at me and he's like, se puede venir para acá, like you I can't just, be moving. I would have And I'm like, like I just looked at him like, what? He's like, no, no puede andar moviéndose así porque distrae a la gente y, y pongas en un lugar donde agarre el ángulo que quiere. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. no, oh, bro. There's, there's this other I was like, story. this guy, I yeah. swear to God. And then whatever, I listened to him. I went and just stood still. And I look, he dogged him like the rest of the ceremony. Like every time he would look towards me, I was just like staring at him like, okay, bro. Like, what are you going to say now? <laughs> you know? And I was recording for this, um, this girl too, because they wanted it. And the part that got me the most mad is that he would make these dumb little jokes oh, yeah. that he you does. have to like cut out. And I'm like, bro, be professional. Like, what are you doing? And then yeah. he would he would be like, el cabo que el, que el muchacho lo va a cortar. And I'm like, you like, you just put more time no, to my word. Then, yeah, I'm like, okay, thanks, bro. Now I got to go through the whole thing and make sure you're not being dumb. This one with time your I was doing a baptism. <clears throat> <clears throat> same place? Then, same place. And um, I have my stop, camera. Y'all got to stop getting booked there. That's <laughs> I don't want to work there anymore, honestly. They're like, like uh, to can to you tell church. me where it's going to be at? <clears throat> okay. I'm probably going to have to, but either way. And if he watches this, the video that I posted, he's gonna, he's probably going to call me out on it, but I don't care. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I was, I'm doing this baptism, and I'm standing up in the corner, right? Just in case anything happens, I can fucking snap a photo, right? And then the miss is going, and then he says, okay, sentence. And I'm in the corner with my camera and I stay standing up just in case, you know, something happens. But I'm in the corner, right? And then he said, Siéntense. And then he went like this. He saw that I, I, I didn't sit down. And then he went like this. Dije, Siéntense. Like oh that, bro. Oh my God. Like bro. that. He's over here I'm feeling like, like God real quick. No, pues he's, he, he thinks he's all that, I guess. <laughs> He just, just starts, he just starts floating and everything. Ay, que me perdone Levitating. Dios. Que me perdone Dios, pero es que eso no se puede tolerar, de verdad. No se puede It's tolerar. It's not... Here's the thing, though, is, like, I, I understand, like, you know, you're a priest or whatever, like, you have to have some respect, but you're not God, bro. Relax. <laughs> you're not God. You're not God, bro. Dude, let's like, let's God, take bro. it real easy. He's okay? like, humble yourself you're real not quick. God, bro. Let, let's take it That's real fast. easy. You know what I mean? Like, calm down. We're not all going to bow down to you because you're a priest. And some people might get upset with me for that, but it is what it is. But that's just no, I, I that's not that's not the way religion is to me. That's is you have to like year. yeah, that's that's God, my bro. hot take for the episode. Is that you can't you know like yeah, man, I respect priests. I get it. You know what I mean? Like I respect, no, yeah. here's the thing. You can't expect <clears throat> people to respect you just because you're a priest. No, you have to respect people too. You know, like that doesn't give you a right I to feel like respect it, yeah. people. I feel like it's more like you know the age also too. Like that's kind of like does it make sense? They're kind like, of because we're younger yeah, and they're, they're older. Like, I can see that. No, I'm saying I'm not saying it's valid, but it's like that's like probably no. I see it though because they 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 think they can get away with it more to saying it to a younger person yeah. than someone. Like let's say like Chava was like it's a like, 42. Me ves las canas, no? Me ves las... It's like, like on, Chava bro. was like. Sir, so, I mean, he at least he gave you that respect, right? <laughs> and he said, "Sir, no." But I, I've heard plenty of people complain about it, so. Uh, I'm I'm not the only one in either is Chava. And the other happened. thing, it sounded like when he told me to <clears throat> to stop moving, it sounded like he's like, I can't remember exactly what he said, but he said something about like, hey, remember, like we're not gonna be moving right now. Like if he told <laughs> me beforehand, you know, mm. so it makes me look even worse. Cause he oh did. Oh my god. But anyway, bro, I'm sorry <laughs> to like. 
vent. Yeah, <laughs> Chava I needed a letter. Chava's yeah. like, it's been three weeks we haven't recorded. I need yeah. to vent this out real quick. How yeah. long has it been since you guys, you said like two, three two weeks? weeks, I think. Mm-hmm. Two, or, two or so weeks. Chava's like, so. this is my therapy. This is my therapy. Yeah, but we're going to get back on it. We're almost at the <clears> one goal. year anniversary. How many did you guys say you wanted? 52? 52. 52. <clears throat> That's technically see, I, I remember. I, rem- I remember. I rem- oh, he does remember. See? See? I'd be happy with 50, dude. Yeah, <laughs> even I think even 50 is, is fine. Like, if we can hit 50, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. We just have to hit it before... I sent you the date, right? Yeah, Our first yes. episode came out October 15th mm-hmm. of last year. So as long as we hit 50, which is 10 more after this one, I think that's doable. That's you know? doable. 10 more before we'll do it. October? Before October 15th. And even if we don't. That's like, one, okay. two, three, four, five, like five weeks. So if we did like two a week. Straight grind. Anyway, let's reach out to the audience here. <laughs> What's good, bro? What you been up to? Working. Working? School. Work school. Have you done any shoots lately? Um, I have five coming up this week. Okay. Five? Oh, look Get at that. Long. He what do you say book, so casually? He, he said, I'm deal. booked and busy. My bad. <laughs> no, it's, it's pretty nice, bro. Yeah. So, I have two on Saturday. And then two on Sunday. And then one on Monday. There you go. So. Are you going to be having Saturdays off now from... No. Or just, just this one? My manager is being weird and he forgot to. So, I'm not oh. saying anything. Oh. <laughs> You're like, hell yeah. He's like, I, about, I was about to quit. I was about to quit. Huh. But it's we got to talk weeks. about your rates, dude. <clears throat> We gotta You're charging way too low, my man. Way too low. Like, like how how did you get these five? Uh, come here. Bring that little chair right there. Come here. Pull up. Oh, you <laughs> no, did not one. Right? Right? Did, the one you're sitting on. Oh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this. Okay. So how did oh, you? Oh, in the frame. Screw over, bro. How did you find these five shoes that you booked? Like, what? How did you book those? Like, did they reach out to you, or how um, does that work? Three of them. Oh, my bad. So three of them did reach out to me. Uh, one wanted a, a birthday. It was a birthday shoot with their friend, and then um, I have a, pre- a previous client. Previous a previ- previous <laughs> client. It's like a previous client. He's yeah. over here, like from like a car. Okay. And then um, I told one of my coworkers if she wanted a shoe, and she's been wanting one. Okay. So we have that. And then I'm collabing with um, Edamar on Sunday. Okay. And so yeah, it's, it's going pretty well. So well, when people reach out to you, doesn't that mean that they're interested yeah. in booking you? How much like you they already them? like your photos. Do you want to say or not? Uh, you feel comfortable? You don't have to. He's like after the podcast, I'll tell you. Um, less I. Let's say that. Yeah, less than a hundred. One hundred percent. Less than a hundred for forty-five minutes. Yeah, right. And the thing is, like, your photos are good. You know, like you know what you can do. So, you have, let's just quick? say that I was charging what uh, you charged, Juanito. Let's just say that I, what you were charging is what I charged for the first six, seven months of me starting photography. Yeah. Right. So that's a that starting should give you point. a perspective. Like that's just too low, bro. Yeah. And even uh, I think lowest, my first shoot I charged thirty dollars. I'm not gonna my cap. My very first shoots were like ten to twenty. Yeah, like my first one was thirty bucks. I think mine were like twenty five. But you've done enough in the time you've been shooting where I think you can charge more than that. Is my point. Me, I charged that much because I I hardly was shooting as it is. But I thought you know that amount was fair for like you know the time I would put into it. And then once I started to shoot, like maybe to the level where you're at now. Yeah. Within my first year to year and a half, yeah, I kicked it up. And then obviously you just go from there. Mm-hmm. But when I saw that text and you're like, I'm going to charge this much for this many people. It's like, nah, bro. No. The thing is like you have your, your, I don't think your solo uh, rate is that bad. It's not. It's not that bad. It's not. But you can't keep it the same for that many people. No. Yeah. Like for a couple, two or less people, your, your current rate yendo. is like. What what it's cause we can't have Johnny's perspective because we can't say the number. But okay, picture this. Picture someone asked you for twelve people, correct? Yeah, oh damn. And l- l- um whether that's like a prom, like let's just say it's a prom shoot. Yeah. And they're like, Hey, they we got twelve people here and we want like big group photos along with like some individual ones, right? Or like couples. Would you charge less than a hundred dollars for that? For 12 people? Like how long would it be like oh, now? Would you keep the rate at the same How, how long would it be? You're talking like maybe an hour to a, a little no, bit of an hour. Like, I'd, I'd switch it. like Because like at one point, it's like you think about it like... It's like when you go to like... Uh, like I don't know. like 
where they like tell you all oh, how many people you have mm-hmm. and they increase the price mm-hmm. it, it just makes sense like mm-hmm. 12 people yeah 12 people no let me but find out you're charging uh, you're charging less than 100 for 12 people <laughs> he was going to oh, that's why we're telling to? him you know i, I raised it Okay, good. Okay, good. okay. Well, it's the passion, he bro. Said, it's the pa- he's, he's he's the guy driven. said he's like I'll keep in touch with you. So it's like, is he really gonna? You know. Nah. But see, you know why though? Because you already you gave, gave him, him the number price. first. You gave him the first number. If you would have well, given, well, sorry, he gave me. He told me after he's like, can you do a video? You know how I started doing video. So then that's when I charged it a little bit more. I mean. Oh, so you already gave him. I gave an him a price of rate. just photos. Yeah, I gave him a right. So this rate. is for video on. Yeah. Time. So then okay. he asked. He asked me, he's like, okay. "What about video?" So then that's when I added a little bit more. It wasn't a lot, but I still added more. Okay, that's fair. That's you know? fair. But yeah, bro, twelve people for under a hundred dollars is just no. You're like thirty minutes. Moment, bro. <laughs> I mean, well, we're just trying to help right you, here? bro. You can do work. Hey, this guy. Hey, this, <laughs> this guy right here, Loki, ain't the best person to tell you that because he undercharges all the damn time. And we yeah, were just having that conversation. Thing. Remember? Here's my perspective. Oh, here's my perspective. And everything. Mm-hmm. You can start charging whatever you charge, and then eventually you're gonna feel like, oh, it's time. It's time to raise it. It's like when and you, then you raise fully, it a little yeah. more, right? <clears throat> and then you do it. You're happy with it for a while, and then you're like, "Oh, this is it's time." Here's here's all I'm gonna tell you. Anybody watching and any other photographer watching, actually, I'm gonna just say it to the couples because some po- some couples have the audacity to ask for this price. If you're asking me to shoot photos at your wedding for more than at least seven to eight hours, there is no way. I'm charging you anything below like twelve to thirteen hundred, ever, ever. Me over here thinking two hundred is enough. <laughs> like the what only reason I would maybe do that is if it's something super small where there's hardly any guests, so I'm not gonna be shooting all the dang time. And if it's just like, what is that here? Called? You know like what? Small ones? Let me let me put it. Yeah, like let me put it this way. This yeah, this past go. Sunday, you know the wedding I drove to, I charged under twelve hundred. It was only six hours that mm-hmm. I was there. It actually, it didn't even hit six hours. I think I hit five actual hours. The only reason it was a long day is because I drove two and a half, but they compensated me for gas, right? And this is the first time I've charged less than that for a wedding in, I think, maybe two, three years. But that's only because, you know, they were like, oh, you can come here at 2 p.m. and get a little bit of them getting ready. Ceremony started at four. Ceremony was like 15 minutes. By eight o'clock, I was done. Mm-hmm. Like... You know what I mean? It was kind of, it was a far? I technically, was it, huh? Was it kind of far? Yeah, it was two and a half hours from here in Lake Almanor. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, I charged them the price that I did because I'm like, well, dude, I'm only going to technically maybe shoot for like four hours. Am I right? Kind of like, it also like depends, like the price that you say is really like on what they want. Like, am yeah, I right? that's, that's exactly really what, what it was. Like, that's exactly what you, I worked around because yeah. I asked a girl, I'm like, what exactly are you trying to get? And she's like, look, like, this was, questions? keep in mind, this is a, a couple who had not? to reschedule their wedding from July because of the fires up there. Right. So I'm already like, dude, these people are just already trying to make something work. Like I'll, you know, I'll be a decent freaking human being and not be like, that's two, two grand for five hours. Like, nah, bro. Like, that's not worth it. Like at all. And I would feel like I'm abusing them for that. So I'm like, I'm going to charge you this much. And they're like, we'll pay you extra for gas. Cool, bro. We're good. And Andrew's like, I'm not the pastor. Uh, I'm not the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the Sometimes pastor. people say it's something small, but it really isn't. They'd be lying. Yeah. No. They lie. It's like 300 people. That's their way of like trying to get a better prize. El quince de rubi. El quince de rubi. And for, <laughs> for me, like this Sunday, it really was something small. There was 30 people there, bro. It was a small wedding. Like, literally, it was the couple and all their main family and friends, and that's it. Like, that's it. Super small ceremony. What do you... Like, that's about it. What you do you feel like, favorite, <laughs> like, what's your favorite thing to shoot right now? Like, weddings. Weddings. Mm-hmm. Chava? Mm, Shooting his shot is his favorite thing to shoot. Míralo, te trae todos los brazos para arriba todo y chana. I know, bro. He's having going to the gym. Who are you rolling them sleeves for? He took pre-workout nah, before everything. Long, that's why. Well, Is I got a facial today, bro, with your cuñado. You, your shine, you, your skin be looking shiny. I'm not uh, gonna lie. I'm glowing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby's butt. <laughs> I'm glowing. No, my favorite thing to shoot. Weddings are hella fun, dude. Are long days, but they're fun. They're fun. 
Oh, they're all so sore after this weekend. I was when he was live today. He was like, "Oh, I'm back and everything up." I was like, "I never do that." He was <laughs> looked at me crazy. Yeah, you I know you're wild, your bro. How do you not I back up your pictures? I, I have I have my camera, and I dude, I, I don't think a lot of people. I do. haven't backed up anything from last night. You know what I saw some people do? They do the photo shoot, and then they have a bunch of SD cards, and then they have like a little container, and then they put the SD card in there. And then, okay, once I'm ready to edit this, I'm going to grab the SD card and, and I'm going to edit out. off of the SD card, you know? I feel like and once they're done, they delete them from the SD card. I'm like, what the? That, like, that's so that's weird. That's wild. This is how I do it. So, like, when I shoot something, I keep it there. And then I just edit it, when, like, when I can. And I edit it. And then, like, I go to another shoot. And I, I, I usually format them, but I haven't been formatting them. I just delete, like, you know, the date. You know, Chava, when like, you like, oh, delete all these oh, from uh-huh. this date. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I do it like that. And then yeah. I feel like the reason why I do it like that is because I've never had like any issues like behind like losing anything. So I feel like the day I do lose something important, you're I'm gonna, gonna learn. Cry. I'm gonna cry and be like, "Bro, I this lost. is why you stop I'm, now." Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, "Chava, <laughs> Nandu's <laughs> help, stop, stop right, right now right to right avoid right. me calling me calling Nandu's bro. bro." No, the way the way no. I always do it is I Has go shoot. Has anything happened, you guys? Oh like yeah, that? oh yeah. I lost an SD card once. I lost a like with it wasn't a wedding or anything. Thank God it wasn't a wedding. No, didn't that almost happen to you once? Yeah, recently once. I I um I lost an SD card with three shoots in it. And it was like a maternity, like a couple's and a grad. I remember this was, when was this, like two years ago maybe? And I just could not find it, bro. I don't know what happened to To this day, I don't know what happened Wasn't to it. Wasn't it that one time also that, wait, you forgot batteries. That's what it was. Oh, yeah, that was embarrassing You shot it with your, your iPhone. I think I know who, who see, most see? people were. Hmm? Yes. Nanny's like, sh- like, maybe he does watch it. <clears throat> I think I, uh, I showed up to this one shoot and then they're like, do you have batteries? I'm like, yeah, I have batteries. Like, oh, because this one time we shot with Nano and he forgot his batteries. For real? Yeah. Oh, wow. I think that was the one. They switched over. They switched. But they said that you went to get them and then you came back. and. Oh, yeah. It. I remember that couple. Yeah. It was at like Galena Creek. Yeah. Was it like yeah, a little small family? Yeah, yeah, yeah Galena. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> they exposed me. No. That was the only that. time I ever forgot to... Um, the the thing with the iPhone is my camera just died out of nowhere and I didn't have an extra one. <clears throat> I remember that. Oh, but yeah. Because my camera I was, said... I was a camera. I yeah. Was a <laughs> <laughs> the, the battery in the camera said it was full. And then it just died out of nowhere. So I think the battery was just like defective. Defect. You tossed yeah. it. I remember you. Dude, I did. I just, I got rid of that battery immediately. But Kobe, the the one time that he's talking about, I showed up to it. I remember this was when I was still shooting um with Canon. So I had a battery grip and I had left the, the grip with the batteries charging, right? Like at home. Yeah. I, in the morning, I was charging them to go to the shoot. And I think I just spaced out and I didn't bother to pop open the battery grip to check. And when I show up, I'm like, bro, are you kidding me right now? I'm like, I forgot both my batteries over there. And I, dude, it was so embarrassing to tell these people that. I'm like, yeah, I was like, guys, I'm so sorry, but I forgot my batteries. Can I go back home and get them? And they're like, you know, like how long did it take you to go? I hauled it, bro. I got to my house in like 10, 12 minutes and came back in like, I just ran in. And I went back and they were like, oh, we're going to. Your dog looking at you. Hey, you're back. (laughs) back." (laughs) They, they like, like, they. They told me like we're gonna go get some food in the meantime. So they like mm. rent. They went down to the, like ma- the McDonald's by like, you know, Galena or whatever. And I actually ended up coming back before them, which oh, is no funny. Way. Like they went down, and I think in the time that they were in line in the drive-through and all that, they ended up showing up like after I did. I'm mm. like, I don't care if you guys are late, dude. dude like I'm already it, late. I find it so funny because you know you guys talk about like places here and everything, and mm-hmm. I'm not from here. So like on the drive here. I'm like everything's clicking in my head. I'm like, oh, Donner Lake. Oh, oh, what's it called? What else? What's the other one? Uh, Bird, Bird Eye. Bird Eye. Bird Eye right I'm over here like, oh, I was like, so this is what they're talking about? I'm yeah, like, like these oh, spots. There's not that many here. Dude. I'm like, no way. I was like, I'm about to there's just... enough, but there could be more. I'm like, I'm about to just pull over right now. I'm about to... I mean, lucky. like, I mean, you got a lot of like cool places. You got a lot of cool, you know? old, like close areas. They have to be. It's because people also have, some people aren't fully down like. No, that's far. true. Does there's that people sense? here who don't want to go oh, out yeah. of. There's people here who think Bird Eye is too far. Yeah, and that's yeah. 15 20 minutes. Like, and I tell people, on, I'm like, dude, if you come, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Yeah, if you don't, then like, I barely get out of town, really. I don't, I, don't I try to often. more. I try to avoid like the ones in central, like Reno, as much as I can, like downtown, midtown, Collin, Rancho, Mayberry. Like, those are all nice, but I try to like go elsewhere more switch it up a bit yeah like donner verdi moon rocks some places in tall even galena creek you know it's still a little while away mount rose washoe valley like all those areas are really nice and they're just a little bit more of a driving distance it's like nanders i'm still waiting for the meetup i'm still waiting for 
I know, yeah, man. I'm been so busy. It's like bro. I had to come to the podcast just to. Just Are you coming? I down do, I do you need to host that. I mean, I I was planning on, but Nandes, Nandes. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I got really Relax. busy. No, I I'm waiting for this like wedding season to die down, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna host yeah. them for sure. Because when you guys went to the bay, I was I was in Mexico, and I was like, oh, oh when we were down there by Santa Maybe Cruz. Maybe the day you got yeah, the day you guys came. I was literally on the flight and I was like, We should go to San Fran. I was like, No. We were going to go to San Fran that day, but we decided to send it down to San San Francisco. San San Fran is like a very one day doable trip. Like, you don't have to go all day and stay, you know? So I I mean, if you guys want to come out, yeah, we we might hit you up. I mean, he knows his way around San Fran too, but. Yeah. No, I mean, you should. I'm sure you got it. We're going to block him after this. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go kick it with him down there. Nah, oh, I think it would be cool to. He's like, Esos to me cayeron, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the next trip since it's close. Like, yeah, it's just all go to the bay. Some. I think we can wait till um, you know how wait, sunset starts yeah. getting earlier, because then um, we don't have to come back super What's late. What's that one trip you've been um telling Chava to go on? In Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, Oregon. They, we're gonna go there too. We're supposed to go next year now. I've we'll been hearing. I, I'm like listening to the podcast and like just like six of them just Oregon, <laughs> Oregon, <laughs> Oregon. <laughs> Oregon. This gonna be a seventh one, Oregon. It's gonna I mean, change his life, bro. Racist hmm? Oregon? Racist? racist? Yo, yo. I don't know the about racist that. People I'm bro, sure Oregon's racist like people. the, the people, opposite of that. I'm sure <laughs> the people from Oregon that watch the did podcast. Did you? Do you know Oregon nah, was where about, like? Um, what are you thinking of? Texas. Ohio, no? You're thinking of Ohio. I remember I heard something about Oregon. You know, Oregon is where like the biggest uh, one of, uh, in the country, like one of the bigger movements for like BLM was, right? was in Oregon like people were if you go over there you see see like BLM things everywhere like all that (laughs) no Oregon is very like um what is that called bro I can't think of the name for that um (laughs) oh my god corona Uh, it's fucking uh they made uh hella drugs legal over there huh yeah yeah Yeah, they did Yerbas. They're high, bro. They don't have time to what be is, racist. Dude, what <laughs> is, dude? What is that? Um, oh, my God. I can't remember the... What is a state, a city? No, it's like a term for, like, how people like that tend to be. You know what I mean? Stereotypical? Liberals. Liberals. Oh, damn. Oregon is, like, super liberal state. Like, so that's the complete opposite of, like, banning stuff or, like... I mean, I'm sure, bro, there's racist people everywhere, but, you know, yeah. like... From what I saw when the whole BLM things were going on, so Oregon was there, definitely bro. like... You'll be fine. <laughs> okay? What are you trying to say, he was bro? Trying, he was trying to find out if he can go. That's the thing. Did right? he have miedo? Oh. <laughs> he was scared. Like, he, he, was, he thought they were going to see him and be like, nah. <laughs> nah, Come on, go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll be all right. Yeah, you'll, you'll pull um, out the car with, like, the skin tones, right? Are you the, like, Are you driving back today, Johnny? I mean, you know? unless you guys are going to do something. That's wild, bro. I mean, at least hang you out with this fool a little bit. It's like Chava. I would, Chava I would like, I would hang out a bit, but I have to. Well, I could probably hang out. Dude, after I, I have do a busy ass day today, but I mean, we're mm-hmm. getting close to wrapping up. No, we're not. Um, there we are. No, we're not. Yeah, I fucking control this shit. No, we're not. Here. Chava's I can, like, I can shut that shit off, <laughs> and I can shut the show. Off. You're gonna just and then, do like a forty minute episode? <clears throat> no, we've been I'm going for playing. like 15, 55. <laughs> Chavo's like, he just claps and all the lights turn off. Bye, guys. It's, like, it's over. <laughs> all right, fine. So, fine. I'm going to ask Johnny. Yeah, closing questions. thoughts. Um, do you got any, like, uh, out-of-state plans this year coming up? Or, out like, state. anything out-of-state that might have to do with, like, photo or anything? Out-of-state? Mm, I mean, I was talking In about Florida, Florida, maybe. That's oh, okay. maybe next year. <clears throat> okay. It's only, like, three, four months. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to LA in October just to just to see the city. Just to, I might try to see if I could connect with anybody like out there. Or something. I'm going with actually the friend that lives here. So we're gonna. Who's fly. your friend that lives here? Just a random guy. Oh. Just a random guy. Mm. He's not creative or anything. Oh, okay. So he's just damn. He's works just, at he's works creative. at Mazda. <laughs> works at Mazda. And uh, he works at Mazda. Yeah. No way. I used huh. to work for the owners of Mazda <laughs> and then Lexus and stuff. And then I think. Like anything else big i mean i didn't i don't know that's nothing for sure like i had this one like these other videographers photographers they're telling me this one shoot that was going to come up that they wanted me to help them with and then it was going to be like some famous but like you know just like sometimes it's like you don't know until it happens mm-hmm. it was i don't know if you listen to like uh what is it it's spanish music but it's not like spanish it's like uh what is it called it's not trap but it's like you know sech 
This oh, one, you know, I know. Yeah, Sledge, yeah. Sledge, yeah. him. He was gonna come <clears> out to <throat> Oakland, and then they're gonna do like after party, and then they wanted me to be the one like, di- like directing like the video for his after party. So oh, I'm not nice. sure if that's. It's supposedly this month, but I haven't heard anything. So it's like. They're probably gonna tell me last minute. That's how it works out there. Probably. Are the day you, uh, they're like, "Hey, bro." Are thanks. you like interested in getting more into like weddings or anything or no? I I am. I was talking to Chava about it too. I was like, "Hey, bro, like, it'd be dope. It'd be dope, cause it's just it'd be cool to like." But then that's like kind of like, I was gonna say like, it's if you think about it, someone's like paying you to like, on their important day of their life, bro. Like, it's a, kind big, of a big responsibility. responsibility. It's so like, is that oh, why you see it as like 50 50 like you're like no, I not do that. One, I, just, I haven't i haven't had the opportunity mm-hmm. in sense i'm so down like literally <laughs> i came driving three hours like yeah i'm down someone told me hey bro like do you down to do it like you down to do this you don't like I'll would do you it. ever like just go second shoot with someone just to get it under your portfolio yeah. and stuff i so be not so really like Anders? i know you told me yeah. i just don't know about this one but I I I'm getting one. close to like wrapping up wedding season, but like next year for sure. Mm-hmm. Like once the year yeah. starts, like my first thing that I get. I mean, so unless down, you want to go down with me to LA and shoot my cousins. To LA? I mean, I'm down, <laughs> bro. I'm down. <laughs> I, 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 I do. It's like I do, I do this full time, so it's like kind of like that's what I love about it because it's like you really you could do you could come out like right now. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, so then I has a whole schedule and everything. We, He's like, we can't definitely can't hit him if we go to the bay because you, you won't have to like. You have, have to the call off or anything. That's dope. So it's like how long that. have you have you been doing it since you started? Like full time, it's been since like actually full. T- like I quit my job like and I said full time in February of this year. Oh, okay. But like I kind of like, you know, like sometimes it doesn't didn't fully work out. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of like helping my dad with his own stuff, with his own work and everything. But now recently, these past like four months, just been you've been good. It's just been Busy. chilling. Like Does ever work. since I came back from Mexico, I just <clears throat> I'm on Chava mode right now, bro. That's what's up, dude. Just, going. Bro, I went to bed just like, going and going. Been going to bed like at 3 well, I mean, a.m. yeah, I think night. I mean I'm sure you could. Um, obviously, you know, it'd be cool for you to link up or like get more familiar with other people out here. That's what um, I tell. I was like, coming out here is, is dope experience. Just meet new people and then just like who knows, like you have something that, like. Bay Area over here, like someone's like, hey, and then just busy schedule, just send it that way. You're there, like, yeah, someone reaches out from Reno, and I'm like, oh, I can't go out there, yeah, because hey, I, I think, like, I got a boy Chava that goes crazy with it, yeah, yeah. like, I think I if, you, if you go a second shoot, like, a wedding, even with someone out here, still something for yeah, you to just that's have, I, yeah, I feel like that's that's the way to do it. You had to second shoot because it's like, just to get it down, it's like, if you mess up, it's not. It's not really that bad it doesn't matter. It doesn't <laughs> because it's just like, you know, second shoot in the sense where the person's not having you second shoot for them it's just more of like hey get all the photos you want to get for yourself oh dude i uh <clears throat> i was doing this wedding on sun on have you ever guys like done on that? sunday like second shoot i did for my first wedding ever i have never second shot <laughs> i never second shot anything oh, i've yeah. never second oh, shot so for, <laughs> <laughs> i've never second shot for someone like i've been asked to like people will be like hey do you want to help me with this wedding and second mm-hmm. shoot for me <clears throat> and i think i just haven't done it because they just don't want to pay me like anything and I'm like, I get I'm second shooting, bro, but like, you really want to pay me 150 and I'm going to be with you all day? Mm-hmm. Like, that's ridiculous, man. I'm like, I can just go book a shoot. Like, it's fine. It's only when the second shooter is actually interested in, the, in helping like, you. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> yeah like, <clears throat> like, if you're going to reach out to me, for example. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, am I going to go second shoot with you <clears throat> for like 200 bucks or am I going to book a wedding for like two grand, you know? Yeah. So I was doing this wedding <clears throat> on Sunday and then I told Daniel to help me with the video a little bit. Uh, just a friend of mine channel 47 <coughs> he was here too uh but he was uh he took a little while to get there because i told him like oh around 6 37 but t- he took a little while so the first thing started oh. and so i was doing everything by myself <coughs> you know and then i'm fucking <coughs> struggling over here right i'm barely getting anything good because i wasn't like not ready yeah and then all of a sudden, I just see him recording. <laughs> like, he just came and then started recording. And <laughs> he just was, got yeah. there and got on it. He just got to it. That's what's up. the gimbal ready and everything. Yeah. The car. Next thing I know, I'm like, oh, I can put this down and I can focus on taking pictures, yeah. you know? I, th- I think what he said is, is very true. Like, if you yeah. reach out to somebody, you should pay them. And you shouldn't just expect them to do it for free. But, like, mm-hmm. like in, in your case where you're like, I've never done a wedding and I would second shoot to get my portfolio going. That's what I did. I didn't have Davey or Chef pay me anything. I'm like, I'll go with you guys if I can. And just kind of give me pointers. And that's yeah, it. Just and like, sometimes people... I'll drive three hours out here. I'll drive I've had couples be like, can you find a second shooter? And then and, and then they ask who. I'm like, I don't know. Your wedding is in a year. 
Mm. Like I can't book yeah. a second shooter right now. I gotta wait until that day and be like, hey, who wants to help me? Because or like, like a week before. You never know. Like, what if I book Juan he dies. for a second uh, he shoot? Died. He died. No, oh and then he, yeah, he dies or something, right? <laughs> Or he goes to he, he goes, goes to, to jail. Hey, he goes to Oregon and then some racist <laughs> over there kills him or something. Yo, chill. You know, some, some could happen. And <clears throat> happen, but what if he? No, wait, wait, what if he blows up? And then now, now I'm gonna take away from him being able to like oh uh, get yeah. a bigger gig, you know? Yeah, everything's going in, bro. I'm not cutting anything, bro. This is going <laughs> straight to it. Straight raw, uncut. Well, I think. Well, um, you know, I like. Oh, I think. Uh, <laughs> what? Nah, dude. It's like, hell. like a fucking like, like business booming. booming yeah, business. yeah, yeah. Like I think that now there's there's just a fine line between like someone's shit, like yo, bombing, you know? I've never done a wedding. Can I come with you? to get experience yeah like, come along but don't expect mm -hmm. to be paid for that you know what i mean i've been doing yeah i've been doing a lot of like with the videos like music and everything and like there's these directors that like they're big time that like they direct like for like big labels i don't know like probably i feel like you listen more to music like that juanito like rancho milde and all those like big labels i don't know no, Chava no, that's the way studying pinching Chava, you know rancho. i do yeah <laughs> so like <laughs> like those type of labels like rancho milde like all those really? labels and stuff so mm -hmm. it's like I help them out with the lighting, I learn oh, stuff and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And but that's local too, so it's that's like sick. it's like you meet new people and everything. Mm -hmm. oh, but yeah. same thing, like bro, I'm down to take more trips out here. So yeah, this we'll is stay, dope, bro. We'll you, you, guys are, you guys are sick. It's oh, like, thanks, man. Thanks You're for sick this. too, man. You came all the way just, from over there. Like, I was just asking <coughs> Jesus, what's wrong with my voice? Like, I'm telling you. Tiene <coughs> influenza, bro. I don't know why. You got the sparkling water on hand? Okay. Yeah, always. I never try that one. This one's good. This is like He's the about classic. to review it right now. Chavo it's review. Regular. Live review. Well, this one's this one's not. There's flavored ones, but it's just the normal uh, sparkling water. I don't think. I mean, I already know. I already found one that I like. I remember Which that. Which one? You so I'm not going, it's, I don't have any right now, but it's just it's some weird it. flavor from it. Walmart. Just can't keep it. It's what's the brand? brand? Is it like the bubbly or? No, it's something like it, it, it seems a little low key. American. Clear American. Oh, I've heard of it. Yeah? I've seen it at Walmart. Yeah, yeah if you grab the apple flavor, it tastes just like manzanita. Really? Tried it too. Like the manzanita soda? Yeah. Just mm -hmm. like it, dude. Might have to pull up to Walmart later, bro. And <laughs> yeah, see what see what's up. No, yeah, I just um I think uh like with us, you know, obviously we met you now and stuff, so if I think if any either of us have something pop up, we'll let you know. Especially if you're down to come out here. So Yeah, it's oh, just yeah. dope, bro. Just like dope. hey, pull up. And then I mean if we go to the Bay Area, we'll hit you up. We'll kick yes, it for sure. Come on that for side. Sure, it's, it's not that far. Christian, it's Carlos, far. if you're watching, that's the next trip. They're, these two are already here. So yeah, already. We're going to San Fran. San it's Fran so trip. doable, bro. It's like three three hours, three and a half at the most. If you're going you know fast. I mean? if, you're going, if you're going fast. If I cut like, I'm day. not going to lie, I cut like 30, 40 minutes from the trip. That's I don't long, know. Man. Dude, some, there's an SUV going like, I, I swear, he was going like 100. I was like... Chill. I was like, an chill. SUV? That's crazy, bro. There was like three of them. I was like, and they had Nevada plates. So. I cut I cut our trip to Santa Cruz down a little bit too, and oh, that's even with gas stops. He's got a heavy foot. <laughs> Nando was like gas. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that is. I don't <laughs> know what like, that is. He's got a heavy. I do. I, when I go on trips like that, I do look. I know we're rolling heavy too. You know, we got a <laughs> big motherfucker in the front, dude. <laughs> Como que si estuviéramos en México y todo. You're so mean, bro. Leave Christian oh, he's out of hey, he, <laughs> <knows. laughs> he knows, bro. You don't think he knows? <laughs> hey, the nah, minute bro. I heard him say we had a heavy load, I'm like, he's not gonna. Go don't go there, bro. Oh, then he's like, we got a big mo mother ever in the front. I'm like, come on, bro. Leave Christian he alone, knows, bro. <laughs> you know I love you, Christian. Don't it's all love. It's all love. All right, boys. All right, it's a wrap. Think Thing that's right. Is there anything else you mm, want to say or thoughts. ask or anything? Mm, I don't think so. I mean, who's your guys' next guest? Uh, it's like they don't know yet. Do we, know? we do. We do. It's um, two hairstylists from here. <laughs> two girls. Oh, uh, the girls. First time we're going to have hairstylists, so it's kind of <laughs> nice. I mean, what about you guys? You guys have anything upcoming? We're going to talk about hair, I guess, dude. Uh, <laughs> Anything I'll come in Damn dude, why'd you so say it like that I can tell him not to come If you want No I'm just playing No I'm He's about to let his hair grow And everything <laughs> But I just don't know Anything about hair dude Bro I don't either But that's why we're learning Yeah I like to learn You know Us and hairstylists Have a lot of things in common In the sense of like How clients work right I feel like yeah, everything I really You know they yeah. do it for weddings We shoot weddings they may do yeah, it for certain true. events. We shoot events. He's so close-minded, bro. I swear, I can't with this man. Bro. This is why you guys are yin and yang, bro. Just, just somebody gotta balance each other out, right? 
I'm definitely the are yin. You, He's are the you, yang. Are you Nenders? Are you Nenders? <laughs> You're definitely the yang. I'm the yin for sure. You're oh, the yeah. dark side. I'm the lighter one. Tell me I'm wrong. Some I, I would disagree with that, but anyway. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it was What's a pleasure to be again? back. Plug the Instagram one more time. It's S V G E and then visuals at that. If you're ever in the Bay Area and need pictures, it's your man. So in the Bay Area is in the house today. Alright, well, you're so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited.